Greetings, citizens of Ashbin. What a nice day to be a gamer. My name is Meth, and I'm going to talk about today a game which I have discovered recently. It's called Don't Starve Together. I remember when I was in Australia in winter time, and the weather outside was cold, so I wanted to kill some time while I was inside the house. So I bought the original game, Don't Starve on Steam. First it seemed to be a good idea, then after a few weeks I got bored of it as it happened to me with many other video games. It was upsetting, building up my little base and economy, trying to survive day by day. And then, on the tenth day, I was killed by the wolves. Every time I died in the game, I felt that my progression was for nothing. I hated starting over and over again. So, after a while, I just quit the game. A year passed or two, and I decided to give a second chance for this game. And this was the point when I discovered that a standalone multiplayer expansion was released this year to the game. It's called Don't Starve Together. What is better, I received the game for free, because I already owned the original game. I did not hesitate. I bought the game for my girl, and my friends bought copies as well, and we jumped right into the adventure as a group of five. And it is awesome, I have to tell you. The game has a very simple story, which is not that important. Seriously, it is as important as in the 90s FPSs. Uh, the goal is the same, to survive. Except, this time, to survive together. I must admit that with all my friends on my side, the game is certainly more enjoyable. We started from the humble beginning, as we gathered berry from bushes and chopped wood for the campfire. And when you have the necessary raw materials like wood, food, stone, flint and all the other stuff to make what is necessary to make tools of course, uh, and you survive the first two nights, then comes the first and one of the most difficult decisions. The question of where to put the base, where to build your base. The position of your base must be a place where basic food like berry bush and carrots can be found, as well as where buffaloes are hanging around because they will provide the mm, <coughs> necessary fertilizer uh, for your farms. The third important condition is wood. If you don't have wood around your base, make sure to plant a few trees around your base, not only because of firewood, but because, for instance, the tree you have planted can provide a natural protection against, for example, sudden wolf ambushes. I really like how we separated the roles amongst the members of our little team. Uh, one went for stone and gold, while the other player provided all the necessary wood to build new structures or light a campfire. I was responsible for the farms, I built them one after the other and I did the harvest as well. The game gets more difficult when the winter comes, so you have to be prepared, because otherwise this game will punish you. Winter completely changes the rules and the gameplay, crops grow slowly in the winter, butterflies and bees are gone, but hey, we've got penguins instead. The nights will be longer and the weather will be colder as well, so you have to craft the necessary clothes and equipment against the cold, like a winter hat or a thermal stone, otherwise you will freeze to death. Don't Stuff Together holds a few new surprises as well, for instance it includes a few new tile sets and many new items, but what is more important, it introduces new world bosses, like the Deerclops. What a silly name. It is incredibly dangerous to fight these beasts alone, so make sure to gather your friends and face the boss together. If you don't mind, that probably you will die at the first few times. I would definitely recommend to you to give this game a try. It has a really unique cartoonish artistic style which creates the perfect atmosphere, uh, friendly and hostile at the same time. If you buy it on Steam you will get an extra copy for free and you can send it to your friend, which is reasonable since this is a multiplayer co-op survival game. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and please share your opinion or just a story about the game in the comment section. Hail citizens of Ashbin, until next time.